Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Halloween Happy, where Halloween is more than just once a year. My name is Sam, and welcome to today's new video. So recently I went to Disneyland World, World, Disney World in Florida, right? So I went to Disney, we also did Mickey's Not So Scary Party, and we went to Universal to check out Halloween Horror Nights. Stay tuned, I still need to do the vlog. I just, editing travel vlogs aren't my favorite thing. If I could be honest with you, we're gonna get it done. So I thought I would go ahead and film a Halloween haul of the things that I got when I went on a spookcation. Before we get into it, if you are new here, thank you so much for checking out my channel and thanks for being here with me right now. I hope you're having a great day, a good fall day. I'm doing a lot of batch filming right now, so I'm currently at this time of filming. I am still feeling under the weather, but I'm pushing through. You can follow me on Instagram. It's at Halloween Happy. And if you would like to support my channel, definitely check out my Patreon. All of the details are listed down below. I... I don't know how my Florida friends do it. Like, how do you guys do it with the heat? I really don't, I'm, my eyes are watering right now because I'm like <laughs> thinking how hot it was in Florida. I had these little spooky outfits planned out. I wanted to, you know, get some photos and stuff, but uh-uh. It didn't happen because it was too hot, you guys. I've never felt hotness like that. Like literally, why, how? Hmm? So I'm originally from Kansas and it gets pretty hot in Kansas. A lot of people don't realize that, but that Florida heat, it's really like uh, no other heat I've ever experienced in my my whole life. First off, you're going to see, which I also did not know. See, I'm not a Disney girl. I'm not a Disney girl. Do I want to be a Disney girl? Yeah. Will I be a Disney girl? I don't know. Who knows where life takes me, but currently I am not, not a Disney girly. I had no idea how... How do I put this? How crazy the fandom was for the exclusive Mickey's Not So Scary Party. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm going to be saying a bunch of things. I don't know what I'm talking about. But apparently, apparently some of this stuff is limited. Some of it's not limited. Some of it is available if you go to Mickey's Not So Scary Party. So I just, I had no idea. I thought the Ray Dunn community was out of this world. But boy, hmm. Was I wrong? I don't know if you can get this stuff online. I don't remember if I had to be there or what. Like I said, I'm not a Disney girly. I'm just here showing you what I brought back. What made it back into my suitcase from the trip. So go along with me. First we have this bag. I love this bag so much. It says Happy Halloween. And of course it has Mickey on there. So, so cute. We have some other little ghoulish friends on here. And it's like a nice, comfortable tote. It's almost like a beach tote. I love tote bags. So I thought, why not? Two more because... I thought about doing a giveaway in the future. We'll see if the bottom has like um, a piece of like cardboard just to keep it straight. My favorite thing, it's nothing really, but there is a little zipper on the side in here. So it's not, you're just not just throwing everything into this bag of a bit, this abyss. A little zipper on the side, but I just thought it was really cute. A little Mickey tote. Ooh, look how spooky I am. On our way out, they were giving away these Mickey's Not So Scary Party. You guys could correct me, but when we were leaving, no one was picking these up. Like, I don't know if these are a big deal or if they're not, but I think they're really cute. It shows the castle and then it has like the Cinderella pumpkin, which by the way, I didn't even realize that that was like supposed to be a Cinderella thing. I told you, I'm not a Disney girly. It just says Mickey's not so scary Halloween party for the 50th anniversary, which was this year. But I think after this trip, I'll be better prepared. Although I wish that I would be able to go there in October. I know it'll be busier, but just the weather, it turned me into a whole nother. Mm -mm. I was a goblin, you guys. Like I really made best of the situation. I'm really proud of myself I did. Found a few shirts and this one was from Disney. It was so hot. I'm gonna say that five million times in this video. All I had basically were just black shirts. The spooky outfits were too hot. It's like, let me find a shirt. And of course they either had like really like cutesy kid like Disney clothes that just were not my vibe. Um, or I can get another black shirt, but I did find this little tie dye cute shirt. Love tie dye so much. I don't care. 
I don't care what you think. I love tie-dye. It's my jam. I, you'll see in a second. Haunted Mansion right here. We have our little ghoulish guys right here. It's neon green. I don't really have anything neon green. I have another tie-dye shirt that I found. This one is so comfortable. So I found this shirt. Wait a minute. This might have been outside Universal somewhere. I can't remember. It's another tie-dye one. Kind of like the blow mold and you have like the little cauldron down here. Kind of like vintage Halloween. But anyways, just another little cute tie-dye shirt to sweat my soul away. These are from the Mickey's Not So Scary Party. Tells you like all of the food. A little map here as you can see. All of the specialty food, which I... Did not get enough of. Gravedigger milkshake, worms and dirt funnel cake, almond sweet corn cake, spellbinding fried pie, pain and panic hot dog. I got a problem. Comfy long sleeve. I love this shirt so much. It's so comfortable. In this size extra. Oh, it's only a large and it's like pretty big. It fits almost like an XL 2X, I think. It's the back of it. I thought it was so cute. It says Mickey's not so scary halloween party creepy lettering a turquoise color it's kind of coming out like a sky blue on camera i feel like i should have put my mickey my mini ears for the portion of this video but yeah these are the mini ears that i found i didn't realize so i found like some little disney mini ears at like tj maxx and I guess like people are really particular about the ears. Like I didn't realize you had to wear like official ears. Okay, you don't, but it seems like people will make fun of you if you don't, so. These were like part of the exclusive ones, I think. They're already falling apart, what the heck? Kind of like a little Halloween candy as you can see. And then we have a bow here and it has like this little orange translucent like it's almost like a candy wrapper and then this little pin. I think this is just like a little pin, honestly. I think they just like couldn't sell a pin and they're like, hey, let's just glue it to these headbands. Am I allowed to take the pin off and I can wear it? I don't know. Oh, that would have been really cute. Disney, that's what you should do. These should be removable pins. You buy the ears, you get to collect the pins. Like, I'm just saying, for as good a time as it was, there was a lot of missed opportunity with spooky good times, spooky experiences. Like, yeah, it was fun, but I'm just saying, Disney, you need to step up your game. If you need me to come, you know, I can consult for you. I can let you know what the spooky people want, what the Halloween lovers want. I would be so, so down with that. I think that's all for Disney Disney, but now let's move on. Let's move on to Halloween Horror Nights at Universal, okay? Taking the ears off, we're bringing out a ball cap. We're bringing out Lil Boo. Apparently, this is Universal's little guy, Lil Boo. I didn't know his name until I was leaving. I was like, his name's Lil Boo? Like what a little cutie. Melt my heart, little boo. It's like a little distressed baseball cap. Super casual, super spooky, just how we like it around here. I will say, so like with Universal, I feel like it was a lot of missed opportunity as well. I didn't think I really had expectations in my head. I just thought with Disney and Universal with like how much money they make. Another long sleeve. This one says Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights 2022. Cute little long sleeve. It's like a soft little kind of like the like a little baseball jersey that you practice in not like an actual jersey but I forget what they call these. And then down here it goes more into Halloween horror print, which you can see down here. The little vintage icons like the witch, little jack-o'-lantern, ghost, skull, all sorts of spooky friends. Here was my little Disney band. These are amazing. Yeah, you probably know everything about my life and somehow there's probably a chip implanted in my wrist now, but these things were so convenient. When Joe was ordering them, he kept waiting because he was like, maybe they'll have more Halloween themed ones. I think there was only one time that they did a Halloween themed one, but I they could do like 20 different Halloween versions of a magic band and people would love it. No offense to Mickey because I do love Mickey, but I just went ahead and got this gray one. Yeah, it's 
it's cute these were so convenient unlike when you go to universal like you have to have the paper tickets for everything which is fine i feel like they might do that for nostalgic reasons but i honestly think that they probably should throw that out the window because it was a pain there's like a few different little halloween cutesy stores i forget what they're called someone will tell me in the comments they had like some little areas where you could get out you could get like a little mold made and this one was little boo as you can see it's kind of like a little blow mold it's like super lightweight you kind of see it made there my take is i think they already have them made but then they act like it's making it and then they just toss it out the machine really hot but i don't know if you guys made these there why can't we see them during the process it's cute though super lightweight had to get a little boo because hello here we have another shirt i got from disney this one was so cute so this long sleeve i love we have another we have more tie-dye action down here, like half orange and yellow and then black on top. Established 1971, little Mickey right there. And then I thought the back was really cute. So it just says Walt Disney World. Have Mickey there again with his little ghost friends. I don't know, let me know if these little guys have names because I don't know. For Mickey's Not So Scary Party, like they closed the park early and then got to trick or treat and do some of the rides along with the Mickey parade, which was really cute. They were giving out these little Disney bags. It says, let's boo this. And it has Mickey dressed up as a vampire, as Dracula. This came with like a little bit of candy. And this was like the bag that you, well, this is the bag we used to trick or treat. We didn't do a lot of trick or treating. I think we only stopped maybe like five times. Gonna have to live with that regret. So here is the lanyard that they had this year for Halloween Horror Nights. It's Halloween, as you can see with Michael Myers. This is where you would put like your tickets and stuff and your hotel key, depending on if you're staying there at one of the hotels. Nice little lanyard. You can use it for your keys, put it in your collection, do whatever you want. Some of the IPs that they were gonna do for the house fell through so they only had very few and people that we went with they have been going for quite some time now and they did say you know it was one of the weaker years I wouldn't say it's a bummer but I mean it gives me something to look forward to next time we go to Halloween backpack and this looks really well made you have like the zipper pouch here just like you hey I was looking for my little guy I had him hanging on this inside it's just like your normal little backpack purse but it does have like this Halloween print inside and then my favorite part about this bag and the reason why I got it besides that it's Halloween and Michael Myers it has this bottom compartment down here and I was like oh my god I love that so much because even though this is a smaller purse having one pocket and putting everything is just too much it's like so unorganized so I was like wow like this is perfect for my vlogging camera I have a little bone to pick high quality this way and up front and everything it's like great like even if you guys wear these little bags you know looking at this like oh that would be like a heavy duty one not just like one you get at forever 21 no offense but you know what i mean there's like a quality difference but whoever makes these <laughs> they need i just don't like this material i feel like it cheapened it a little bit it's more of like i want to call it a nylon correct me in the comments but it's like the material that a seatbelt is made out of is that a good thing does that up the quality i don't know i just wish that it was this material of the bag the straps are kind of thin compared to the bulkness of the bag that would be my only complaint about it but also i was really sad as you can see it's like a double zipper so we have the zipper up here and then here is another zipper and you're probably thinking sam where's the little zipper where's the little zipper to the zippity thing and it's so sad it already broke it broke it broke after like two days that i used this and i didn't even use it for that long like at the actual part that was like a disappointment i wonder if i could have exchanged it i'm sure that they would have let me exchange it if i talked to them but i don't want to go through the hassle and there's other zippers that i can use on this so that's okay you can already see this one coming up the zippers are kind of like plasticky too but this overall it's a great bag 
bag. Maybe it's just not gonna be my everyday bag. Maybe it'll just be like special occasion bag. But that's okay. It's still really cute and I'm still glad I got it. Although I do wish that I would have like tried to exchange it for a newer one. It's on me. That's my fault. But is it my fault? Because I didn't make it though. Last thing is the flannel. This one is from Universal. Good old Halloween Horror Nights. Just love this so much. It's super comfy. I got it in a larger size so I can kind of have it baggier, wear it more kind of like a jacket, a little shacket. Here's the back. I just loved it so much. It says every day is Halloween. And then you have like the scarecrow, you have a witch, crow. I just love all the shirts that I got really. All of the long sleeve ones felt like fall. Granted, I couldn't wear them in Florida because it was way too hot for them. All right guys, so that's going to be it for this video. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you survive in the Florida heat. Let me know if you've been to Disney in Florida. Is it a good time to go in late October, even though it will be busier? I think just the weather cooling down a little bit would even be worth it for me personally. Give me your Disney tips in the comments below. But I hope you guys liked this haul. Don't forget, you can follow me on Instagram. It's at Halloween Happy. Subscribe, turn on notifications. That way you don't miss my weekly videos. I appreciate you guys for watching so, so much. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're enjoying October. I hope this video finds you having a Halloween happy kind of day. I will see you guys next time. Bye.